Hello, hello. Hey guys, welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. Oh, my lighting is terrible. Let's see, can I change that a little bit? I am here today to open up my federal apostille with you all. I just got it back in the mail. So this is live, <laughs> like live, live. And I want to see if I did it correctly. It's still sealed up. Again, this is my first federal apostille. For those of you who do not know what an apostille is, it's when a document is leaving the country from the United States and is going to another country and it has to have a special certification on it. There are what we call around here notary educators three levels. You got your basic run of the mill where the document is just locally needing to be processed. Then you have your next level where it may need to go to your secretary of state depending on your process. And then there's a third or to D.C., which is the one this is today, federal. And then there's an embassy process where it, the country may not be part of what's called the Hague. The Hague is an agreement, really quick, where we say to other countries, well, hey, you take our document, we'll take your documents after certain people look at it, and it's okay to be used in the country. Okay, so this one was just a regular Hague apostille. Now we're going to open it together. As you can see, it's still sealed. And let's see what the results were, okay? <laughs> and again, this lighting is terrible, but we're going to roll with it, okay? And it looks like it might have been approved because I see a, a certification on top of it. Ah, it was approved. It was approved. Just Jeffrey in the background. This is my first uh, federal and it was approved i'm so excited so with the apostille it has a little um um embossed raised seal here you can't see it but i can feel it and you will instruct your client not to pull it apart not to pull it apart okay it took four weeks to come back these dc apostilles take four four weeks to come back so it is a process, okay? Um, it's not a hard process, but you have to know what you're doing. Angela actually back? teaches that. How did it come back to you? How did it come back to me? Yeah, explain that. So what happens is you mail it to them, the short version, because it's, it's a little longer than that. But the short version is I mail them an envelope with the document that need to be a postillo. They, and I send them an envelope, return envelope, and they send it back to me, register mail. Now, I used USPS and the United States Postal Service. It's not really recommended because sometimes people think the post office is slow, but it was tracked. I got a tracking code here, tracking number and everything. And I did make one mistake when I was doing my apostille when I filled out the form. I forgot to put the tracking number on the actual document, which in and of itself wasn't a big deal, Okay. So, um, but I, next time, of course, I would fill it out. So, again, I do apologize for this lighting, but this video was so important for me to get recorded. So, here it is, my first federal apostille in the flesh. Yes. Go, Cammy. Go, Cammy. Go, Cammy. Okay. Well, bye, guys. I just wanted to tell you, for all training, all things notary, check out notaryeducatorsllc.com. Don't forget my Notary Business Success Program, $39.99 per month. And we got you covered A to Z in the notary business. Bye!